Hello there everyone, this is Phantom Deuce and today I'm going to be doing What if Naruto was the reincarnation of Zoro and Neglected? This might be an interesting part, for me it was when I was writing the script for it. Other parts, ouch, really. When I say ouch, it was ouch. So, the before I start, I'm going to say this. Once we... Once I get to uh, 1,700 subscribers, I'll be doing another what if, but it'll be you guys who, who decide what what if will be next. If you guys want a, a part 3 or a part 4, it'll be out. If you guys want whatever what if, whoever types in the comment first what what if they want to be out, it'll be the, it'll be the subscriber special when we reach that amount of subscribers. So yeah. Thank you guys for the amount of subscribers that I have now. But yeah, once we reach 1,700 subscribers, I'll be making the what if the one of you guys choose. So yeah, only one what if from the first person who comments in the comments below. That'll be the what if that's going to be out. So that's why I really wanted to say, so we're going to start. So we're going to start uh, where Naruto's, Naruto, Naruto's team were doing d rank missions. Naruto was running from Kurama. Yes, female Kurama. I said that this is going to be kind of like a harem. Other times, nah. Other times, nah, you know what? I'm really ho I'm really bad thinking of these ships. But really, it's still going to be a harem, but mostly I'm going to be focusing on Kurama and the other three that are that I'm mainly here. On the other what if, what if Naruto was, as I mentioned, the Guardian? Uh, Maybe I might be posting... Two videos. If I finish this one early, I'll be make I'll be posting the other part of what if Naruto was at his breaking point, part four, because I'm still not done with that series. I still need to get to the Shinobi War, and I still haven't gotten to the Shinobi War. So let's continue. So we're going to start. Uh, yeah, as Karama wanted to get the cap from Naruto's hand, yeah, the missions that they were doing, they were doing. This is after the belt test. They were doing the mission of getting the cap back to the. Daim Daimu oh Jesus I can't really say just doing the mission to to get the cat again. Uh Naruto had the cat in his hand and it was calm and, and it was literally sleeping on Naruto's hand. But Karama wanted to wanted to get the cat from Naruto's hands. As Naruto said, You don't need to have the cat. Uh then Karama said, Please, please give me the cat. As Naruto stopped and look at her. Karama was giving Naruto the puppy dog eyes as Naruto looked at her and he thought about it and said, Oh God. You technically know that no one could say no to technically when they get, go, someone gives you the puppy dog eyes. So if you're gonna say no to it, I'm impressed. So he gave he gave the cat to her as Kakashi was smiling at Naruto. As Sasuke Sakura, men my Mito were shocked. As Sakura said, so all we have to do is what she did to take the cat from you, as Mamma and Mito were surprised. As well, as Naruto looked at Mamma and Mito, Sakura, Sas Sakura and Sasuke said, Don't talk to anyone about what I did. Letting out pressure as they nod, Kurama just went out to Naruto and kissed him on the cheek. So, chick. Shit. God, Jesus. <laughs> so basically, in the last part, if you didn't, if you guys didn't know where I was going with it, Naruto and Kurama basically dating. Leaving him, leaving, leaving him there with a red face. Leaving him there with a red face as Kakashi saw this smile. <laughs> then Naruto was smiling as they went to get their next mission from Lord Third, Hiruzen Sabatori. <laughs> I feel so bad at saying his name. Just he ruined as Karama gave the cat to the third and said, Can we have a higher ranked mission? As everyone agreed with Karama and Kakashi as well, the third Hokage smiled and gave them a C ranked mission. Or well, it was a B ranked mission. I don't really know, but I'm going to say for now it's a C ranked mission. As he called Tasuna. As he came in with a. As he came in with a drunk look, as everyone can know, he was drunk because he was moving around weirdly. His face had a red, 
His face was red and he and he smelled like alcohol. As Tasuna looked at Sakura and made fun of her for wearing pink outfit being a shinobi. He made a fun of Sasuke for wearing blue. Who isn't that emo emo color? It's as Naruto and Kurama and Kakashi were made fun. Were made fun. But Tasuna didn't didn't want to because he saw that these three are strong. So basically, we go to the part where they're walking out of the village. They're walking straight to the way village. As Kakashi, Sa Sasuke, Naruto, Kurama were watching, were watching a wa were watching a puddle of water on the ground. They were wondering, what the heck? Isn't isn't it's, it's not even raining? As Naruto looked at Kurama and Nara, she not then Naruto grabbed a sword. I said everyone was shocked to see Naruto grab one of his swords. I see as he then engulfed it with hockey and it went black. As Kakashi was confused. Then uh, then a demon brother one of the demon brothers went to attack. As before Kakashi could blink, Naruto chopped the head off the sliced the head off the, one of the demon brothers off clean. And and then knocked the other one out and threw it at Kakashi and killed the other one. Uh, Memma, Sasuke, Sakura, where they started to call call Naruto a demon because no one would kill a someone without be a heart without without showing an emotion. The eye that Naruto was hiding under his headband was glowing red as his as his other eyes that he was able to see. Shh, turn red, showing the demon fox eye as he said, Who are you calling a demon? Letting out pressure and starting to say, Who do you call who do you call demon? As one of his eyes went red. As they all went and hide behind Kakashi. As Kakashi said, Okay, alright, alright, Naruto stop. As Naruto just blinked again and stopped. His eyes went back to his normal green. Kurama could see that Naruto was holding back anger. So yeah, we continue. As Kakashi started to ask one of the ask the demon brother. Ask one of the demon brothers and said, Tell me who who sent you here. As he didn't want to speak until Naruto appeared with his brother's body on the ground. As the demon brother was shocked, he said, how do you how do you have my brother's head? And Naruto said, "I killed him." So speak. What if? Mm -hmm. As Naruto was smiling, showing off his showing off Kurama's teeth, as he got scared and said, "I'll tell you, it was Gato." Gato. As Kakashi said, "Thank you." Now die. As he chops, <coughs> slice the head off. Of the demon brother, leaving no nothing left. As Naruto grab a seal, to the hand signs and put it inside of it. As Memma asked, "What are you doing? We're not supposed to be collecting things." As Naruto said, "It's not collecting. It's co. It's co earning. It's co earning a profit out of doing it." As Sasuke said, "But what you? Why are you doing that?" And uh, then Naruto's face palm and said, "Don't you guys know this is this I." These guys are at least worth a B rank mission. B rank. B rank. So uh, it was. I think it was an A rank or B rank. Yeah, maybe it was. Yeah, I think it was a. Yeah, no. Mm -mm, nope. Basically, let's say that he said they were they were worth a A rank. As Kakashi nodded out with, with what Naruto said, as Memma was said, "Give it to me. I should be the one of having it because I am." I am the prodigy of the Namekase clan, as Naruto said. Does it look like I care what you think? And like I said, Naruto's wearing, uh, I, yeah, he was wearing, like I explained last time, he was wearing ambu pants, not, oh wait. I didn't explain what he was actually wearing. Yeah, basically he was wearing this. He was wearing this, that, basically that. And yeah, if you guys are wondering what happened to the scar that Soro has on his body, he has it, but he's just hiding it under his shirt. Uh, Naruto started to walk. He put the sword back on his waist and kept walking. As Tasuna was shocked and asked, "Who, 
teach this kid how to use the Zor like the sword like that. As Kakashi said, just don't get him pissed. As Tasuna was thinking of what would have happened to him if he got this boy mad. He thought about it. As he imagined his head being cut off clean. As not as Tasuna just said, oh no. Then Kakashi was laughing, saying, Minato sensei, you have left your heritage to a well bo to a well needed boy. As Naruto uh, so we come to the part where we are in front of where we hit the mist as Tas Tasuna, Memamito, Sasuke, Sakura, Naruto, Kurama, and Kakashi were in front of the mist. Then Naruto, before Kakashi could even sense it, he said, Doc, everyone went down and the sword came up. As Naruto, not being afraid of slicing his hand off, he put up his hand and grabbed the sword. As he slammed it to the ground. Then we see then we see Sabuza Mamochi, the demon of the mist, appeared in nowhere as he said, Well, for a young kid like you, you managed to get my sword. Uh, Naruto said, and for a, for an S ring con for a S ring bounty hunter or ninja to be out here, it's a pressure to me, you ta Sabuza Mamochi, demon of the mist. As not a Sabusa smile and said, "Wow, people know people know history about me now." As he looked at Kakashi and said, "Kakashi Hatake, the copy ninja, your head to, your head will be worth a lot." As Naruto just said, "You are worse than scum, aren't you?" As he, as Naruto then engulfed two of his swords in. And uh, in black, in a black coat, in a black coat of, in a black coat of power, uh, so it was the hockey putting around it. As uh, Sab, uh, Sab was wondering, could this kid use this many sword? Uh, so then Naruto said, "You stay back, Akashi." As uh, Naruto started to fight with Sabusa. Uh, Sabusa was wondering, how can this kid be fighting with two swords? As uh, so Naruto said. Huh, finally found someone worthy of using, I'm using this sword. As he grabbed the sword from the from his waist and put it on his mouth as he's as then he said, three sword style. Sword three sword style. Now let's fight. As Sabusa was shocked. A person who can use three swords? Isn't that that's impossible? As then Sabusa before he could even think of, before he could even finish his sentence, Naruto appeared in front of him. And then he Naruto jumped back into the air and then did the same thing. Uh, how do you say? I think I really if you, I, it's really hard to say the name of that technique. It was when he when when Zoro didn't have his other sword, he he used a scythe and made a blast attack towards the person. Naruto did the same as he used his three, his three swords and so and send that blast attack towards Zoro. Not towards Sabuza. As Sabuza couldn't dodge it because there were three more Naruto's doing the same thing. As they were all wondering, how the hell did he get, was he able to do that? As I saw when Naruto dropped his swords, his, he did hand things that not even Sabuza could see. To see. As Kurama was shocked to see to see this kid use this to use, to see Naruto use this much power on against someone who is at least older than him because Naruto's skills are still. Joning, but not to the high amount of joining where uh, he can face off against a Hokage. But his swordsman skill can easily knock the Hokage back to level one if he wanted it to. But he needs his Sakura. KCM, what am I saying? KCM can help him destroy a Hokage. As we continue, Naruto, Naruto will never use KCM. KCM, if he uses it, it's because he's planning on killing someone. <laughs> As Naruto, oh yeah, I forgot. In this one, Haku's a female. I am never planning on making Haku be a boy. Because I don't understand that logic. Basically saying that Haku is a boy. When he looks, uh, when he looks like a girl. Don't actually get it. Whoever created that picture, whoever created Haku did the wrong, did the wrong 
editing and creation of it because he does not look a single piece like a boy so i'm saying this now he's a girl instead of being him he's a she so basically haku is a she uh it's naruto sends haku from haku and the other side of and the other side of the of the fog i uh, see uh, mm, let me think as haku looked at uh, Looked at Naruto and Naruto looked at Saku. Asaku was shocked to see that this kid could censor. And yes, I've been seeing a lot of comments that people want Haku into the ship. Into the harem of sorrow, but I don't really know. You know what? I got an idea. As Haku before she could even say anything, Naruto appeared in front of her in a yellow in a on a yellow color. KCM KCM he used KCM to run as fast there as he appeared right next to Haku, knocked her out, dropped her, dropped her in front in the land. As Sabusa was like, Haku! Uh, as Naruto then said, Look, Sabuza, you can die here or you can join me. As Sabuza said, Fine, I know I won't be able to win against you, so I'll join you. As Naruto put the sword down and said, Good. Now let's leave. Asabusa remember he Naruto still had a clones with his sword. Asabusa followed Naruto. Then Kakashi was like, How do you manage to make him join us? I then I said, I have his partner, I have his precious daughter, and I can easily kill him if I want to. As Kakashi was like, Okay then, as Memma said, Yeah, right. Like you could even kill anyone as Naruto. Be right in front of him, holding holding a sword at his throat. As Naruto said, "Say it again. Who am I gonna? Who am I not gonna kill?" Uh, Memo said, "No one, Naruto. No one. No one." Naruto said, "Good." Then we continue. Then we go to Tasuna's daughter house. I can't really say her name. It's really hard to say her name. It's like when you, it's, for me, some characters' names are really hard to say. So basically, we continue. As Tasuna daughter greeted all the ninjas and, and even greeted Sabusa and Haku. As Haku took, off her, ma took her mask off to show, to show that she was a girl. As Naruto gave, gave, a, gave, gave a speech to Haku about... Why was she, why was she, no, she gave a speech to Haku and Sabusa, as he said, why will you guys spend your whole life being Roshinobis when you can join a village? Join us and you will have a better life and you won't, and you won't have to be alone just doing these stupid missions to then get killed at the end. And, ha and Sabusa, you want your daughter to be suffering like this. You should at least let her have a life in a village. Where she could be protected, and where she could actually have a family, as Sabusa, as Sabusa understood what Naruto said and said, "Okay, thank you, thank you, kid. Now I will try to my my best to not let my daughter be like this." Basically, since Sabusa technically adopted Haku, so yeah, father and daughter combination. So that's why they're working together. As Naruto smiled and said. Now, if you guys need me, I'll be outside. As he let his three swords in the in the spot where he was sitting. Basically, since these are these are cursed or they automatically cut you when you don't want to. Naruto doesn't can't control them. They'll cut they'll cut anyone that touches them. As Naruto just left. But it won't cut the ones that Naruto actually loves. He loves Karama, so he won't she won't get cut. As Memma tried to touch Naruto's sword. Then Kurama said, I wouldn't do that if I was you. Uh, Memma said, yeah, whatever. As he touched the sword, his finger was cut. You know, it had a scar, I mean. As he saw, I was bleeding. Kakashi was saying, Kakashi then asked, how is he doing that looking at Kurama? And Kurama said, oh yeah, he he's always wielding cursed swords. Then, then they're like, He's always wielding cursed swords. As 
and then Naruto, and then she explains that Naruto, Naruto is always carrying swords that are cursed because they, he, swords, the swords trust him more than ordinary humans. No one actually understands why, but it, it they trust him more than ordinary humans. But if he has a family or a son, the the swords will go will be passed down through generations. Basically, meaning that the swords and Naruto have could be given to three different, three different people, and they won't kill them because they have the blood of Naruto. As Naruto, was training on Kaijuks, so trying to improve it, and his chakra control. As he was in his KCM, he was trying to master be the form beyond that. As Karama. Came out of Naruto seal. Yeah, basically she doesn't need to teleport. She said this. I she can easily shrink and be in Naruto seal and then get out and be in front of Naruto. As she got out of Naruto seal, as Naruto said, Do you always have to actually do that? Uh she said, No, but I like to. But then Naruto says, So what do you need? As Karamo said, I just came here to see see you. Then Naruto just said, There's something out in there, isn't it? As Karama laughed and said, You got me. Memo try, Memo try to touch your swords. As Naruto said, Okay. As she done, did hand signs and pushed the wind that was inside of the. Um, no, wait. I need to give him perfect control over the wind. And he doesn't have the right to go to the almighty pool. <laughs> okay, give me two. Yeah, let's continue. Uh, let's just say this that Naruto has a technique to grab his swords from miles away. As she done, did he and science and his sword came flying towards him, towards him, not breaking anything, just like they automatically faced through the wall, coming towards Naruto. As they came to Naruto, Naruto put them on the floor. As Naruto said, there you go, now, what happened? As Kurama said, nothing, just wanted to watch you train. And Naruto said, okay. Uh, then Naruto just went into his KCM1 and started to train. As he was fighting against Shadow Clones. Then Karamo said, okay, let me try fighting you, as Naruto said. Are you sure? As Naruto then said, okay, let me have one of your swords. As Naruto said, okay. He gave her one. Not, the swords didn't cut her because they tr Naruto trusted her and the swords trust her. As Karamo was confused on how Naruto was able to use this without breaking them. Then Naruto said... Put chakra on them. I, m I think so. it might look better. I don't have to put hockey and make them look black. As she asked, what are you doing? As Naruto said, it's called hockey. So let's fight. As they were fight having a kenju kenjutsu fight. And basically Naruto Fumi Jutsu or ceiling Jutsus are technically... Mm, his ceiling Jutsus are actually pretty amazing. Trust me. Basically, he already knows the flying rising, so he can technically teleport. Yeah, I got this idea from someone that he can technically put the flying rising seals on his swords, and he'll be able to teleport them in his hands. I should have done that instead. Yeah, basically, yeah. He he then before he started fighting, he then grabbed a paper from his pot from his pouch and wrote a seal on it and put it on his swords as he took. Karama to give him the swords. Karama did, and he put it on that sword. Then Karama asked, "What are you doing?" As Naruto said, putting a seal on my swords. As she said, but aren't they going to be locked away? Then Naruto said, nope, the flying raging seal. Far 2.0 version. Better than Minato's enough to second Hokage. As she asked, but what do they do? As she said, oh, they'll teleport to me whenever I, whenever I release Chakra. Basically, only when I, imagine, when I imagine to tell them to come, they'll come. The seal automatically responds to what my Chakra feels. If my chakra feels like they need my swords, that I need my swords, they'll be here. But I'm always carrying them, so the seal won't really be used all the time. As she was interested in the seal, she said, Can you please do a seal for my swords? Well, basically, Karama has a sword, which in the next part, I'll be trying to find an image of it. If I forget, if I forget, I won't really, I won't really forget the next time. So basically, Karama has a sword as Naruto did, created a seal for her and put in her sword. As he said, there's your sword. As she was, 
was surprised as she threw, as she land threw it all the way back to the house. As I landed in the pool, as I landed in the water, as she Naruto was like, "Why would you do that?" As Karma said, "Wait, I'm gonna see if it works." As Naruto, as she then let cover her hand in chakra as the sword instantly appeared in her hand, and she was like, "Cool, it works." As Naruto said, "Yeah, it does work, but you don't have to throw your sword." As Naruto, she then laughed and said, "Aw, you look so cute when you're mad." Oh Jesus. That sounds really weird. As Naruto, as Naruto just blushed and said, "No, I don't. No, I don't." As uh, she just laughed. As uh, so we then see Sabusa and Haku watching from a tree, and then we see Mama Mito watching from a tree with Sakura and Sasuke. And basically, their tree running exercise already happened much earlier, so they have they don't need to, they don't need to have help anymore. As Naruto. Was training on tree walking as he took off his his sweater and his jacket, basically his sweater and his shirt, meaning that he looks he has the same amount of muscle as this Zoro. As Naruto was shirtless, walking through the water, trying to figure out his chakra control to see if it has improved. As Naruto was saying, "Finally, my chakra control has reached elite Joni." As when they heard elite Joni. They were like, oh god, this kid is not lying. And Naruto just then started fighting on the water. As he was, as he did, did he, basically the chakra nature that he has is water, wind, lightning, and fire. Because wind and, wind and fire, trust me, that's a deadly combo. Lightning and water, deadly as well, but it doesn't, it really, the, if I was someone underwater and I was under the and I was under lightning, that would technically hurt a lot more than normal. As Naruto was doing hand signs, as the hand signs they weren't able to see it because Naruto's speed is faster than than Sabusa's and and uh, Kakashi's combined. Naruto then finish the hand signs as everyone could see a lightning dragon. Uh. Basically, Naruto created another jutsu, a wind dragon, a fire dragon, and a water dragon. As Naruto then said, attack. As it, as it then started to, as the dragons started to fight with each, with each other. Then the dragons hit, then the dragons hit trees, making them see which one does more damage. The wind one sliced through the tree, water one. Wet the tree a bit, but did a good amount of a good amount of damage. Lightning one sliced through the tree. Fire one burned the tree to a crisp to a crips, leaving a a, pr a proud Naruto as Naruto said, "Perfect." Now let's master this eye. As he took off, as he put up his bandage, and activated the other red eye on his on his on his other eye. As he said, "Now let's see if I can put hockey into it." As he then. Sorry about that. As he then put, as he then put observation hockey on his, uh, as he then activated observation hockey. I'm really sorry. He then started to look around. As he, as he then told Karama to throw things at him. As she smiled and said with pleasure. As she grabbed rocks and tried to throw things. As everyone could see, Naruto was dodging. He wasn't. He was dodging like no ordinary human should be dodging. Uh, then, oh yeah, for, before I continue, I have to explain one more thing. On the dimensional, what, on the dimensional guardian Naruto, yeah, guardian Naruto, which I say, which I said is the blue one on the thumbnail, will be giving Naruto UI, basically Ultra Instinct. But not the Saiyan Ultra Instinct, because then, because then I'll have to, then, because then I'll have to switch his DNA to Saiyan. And I don't want to do that, because then I'll be another freaking plot armor that I have to do. So basically, UI will be the only thing that I will be giving him. But it's not going to be the regular UI. It's going to be the UI that goes with angels. But his, UIs, his UI won't be like the other angels. His UI, will, his Ultra Instinct will only be able to be activated when he releases the power key. He doesn't have the key blast. He only has the Ultra Instinct and the Bruce Strain that comes with the Ultra Instinct. You know what? Forgot about it. He has the key when he uses the old transing form. 
But he can only use the Ultra Instinct form when he closes his... When he wants to use the Instinct of Ultra Instinct, he has to close his eyes and he'll be able to dodge it all. But if he wants to use it with his eyes open, it's regularly just activating it like Goku does. Eyes closed, he, get, he has an Angel Ultra Instinct. Just to make it at least a debuff of power. I don't... You know what? Forget about it. Not debuffing his power. He is going to be the most broken thing in the world. He doesn't need to have all trains to get activated to be dodging. He could have it activated just to show off his hair when it goes spike in the blue aura that he contains. But there's one side effect of this. Every time it happens, one of his shirts gets broken. Yes, the same side effect that Goku has. <laughs> As Naruto was dodging and dodging and dodging. And then I would just say perfect. Now let's try this. I see then as he then made a sound wave that put that put everyone into a conqueror. As everyone was shocked, all they could see was a demon behind Naruto. As Grandma said, Babe, please turn this off. And Naruto said, Oh, sorry. As she started to breathe heavily as she said, What the heck? Are you? As Naruto said, mm, don't really know. I am not a demon, at least. But I feel like I'm the embod in, in the bo uh, my body's a demon's body. As she laughed and said, "Come on, we have to go back to the the house." As Naruto just listened to her, and before she could do anything, he grabbed her and bring her in for a hug. As Menma and Mito, not me, Mito was I'm jealous. Menma. Mito was jealous because of, Naru of Kurama. Menma was jealous of, of Naruto. Sasuke was jealous of Naruto. And Sakura was jealous of... of uh, let me guess who... Yeah, Sakura was jealous of Kurama getting all the attention from Menma and Sasuke. She, she likes them both. As Naruto just looked at that. And Naruto looked at her. She was blushing and she said, what was, what, 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 what was that for? As Naruto said, nothing, as he kissed her on the cheek and then teleported to the house. As everyone was shocked to see, what the heck is this body flicker? As they, as they all went back to the house, Naruto was already there. He had his swords in his hands as he put it back on his waist and, and yeah, just yeah. waited and just waited outside the door. As he said, you guys were watching me, weren't you? As they all nod and said, Yes, we just wanted to see what were you doing, as Naruto said. Ah, uh, next time I ask. As he went back inside and put his swords on the side. The part where Naruto has to give the speech to, uh... To... What was the name? Oh, yeah, Tasuna's grandson. I'm gonna give the speech right now. No, not me, not me, not me. Basically, the speech that Naruto gave to Na to to ta to Tasuna's grandson, he he gave he gave the he gave this speech. He gave this speech. He said this. You think you have left you have lived a wor a bad life? Listen to me. My life has been worse than yours. I have gone through pain. I have gone through pain not even imaginable. Unimaginable. Look, as he put up his blind, uh, as he put up his. His headband. Everyone could see a scar on his eye as he said, This is what happens when you're hated by your village just for having something you couldn't control. His eye will close as he didn't want to show it as he put it down and opened his eye again. It's like Zor it's like it's like Gojo where he's able to see with the blindfold on. Basically that like that, but Naruto's just able to see with the demon eye through his headband. As Naruto explained in this as well. As he Put, lift off his sweater and shirt and show him the scar that he gained from the villagers as he said my life has been worse than yours even though I should have even though I should have gone for revenge years ago in this village I haven't I have been loyal to it since the beginning I have been born there's people there that are nice to me like Grandpa Hiruzen he was the only one kind enough to even see the human in me. And 
other certain peoples, which I won't explain right now. And we know that I already said he not he not being he not to earn the ship. You know you know what I forgot about him. I'm leaving Hinata to for Memma, let's just say Memma save Hinata and she hates Naruto. So that's what I really have to say. As Naruto As Naruto was actually happy as he then said to Tasuna's grandson. Sometimes you need to learn how to give up in life. But if you're me, don't give up in life. Just keep just keep walking forward with the people that you have with you right now. And don't even don't look back if you see people that are trying to to make you go back, don't don't look at them, don't do anything. Just keep walking forward. And I know it's not the same speech as in canon, but uh just one thing. Sorrow. I'm literally putting a lot of things that are, are not in canon. Basically, I'm just doing that. Don't worry. But things will soon, sooner or later go back to normal. But yeah, I'll be waiting for you guys to tell me a summoning for Naruto in a sage mode. Or if you wanted to get a devil fruit, I'll have to look for one. I'll have to look for a perfect devil fruit. Yeah, basically, I have to look for a perfect devil fruit that I wanted to have one. If you guys wanted to have a devil fruit as, as a sage mode, I really don't matter. Or if you guys wanted to have a phoenix or a dragon contract or a dragon sage mode, but he won't, tra so he won't literally transform into a freaking dragon or a freaking phoenix. So basically, yeah. We'll continue as Naruto, we skip to the next morning. Naruto overslept because of the massive amount of chakra that he used yesterday. As this is where we're going to leave it off. Thank you guys for watching. This is Phantom Duels here and goodbye.